Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. In this screencast we are going to cover how to add a new post to the feature content slider on the home page of your website. And because this is a real estate site we are also going to cover how to insert a single property listing so that it appears in the slider as well and we can highlight a particular property on the home page for our visitors. Let's go ahead and start with the posts page and what we're going to do is click on add new so that we can add a new post and I have my text already prepared for me on a separate document so I can just copy and paste and move through this just a little bit faster so we've created our title. When you're bringing text into WordPress, always use the clipboard to copy and paste your text into the clipboard. Here we're copying it in as plain text. And let's insert that. But you can also, by clicking on this one, if you are using a Word document specifically, you can paste from Word. But always use one of the two options when bringing text in outside of WordPress. Also for this particular one we're going to need a property listing. So since we have the DS ID Express plugin installed on our site we're going to go ahead and do that. For the single property all we need to do is insert an MLS number and decide the data that we want to show. Everything is checked by default and we're going to go ahead and leave it that way. And now we see our short code that tells the plugin to insert the listing there. One more thing that we need, which is very important, is we need to have a image to go with our post. The feature content slider does require an image of a specific size. And I happen to have one all ready to go here, so let's go ahead and grab that. So I have this image uploaded and it's 430 by 300 pixels wide. For this particular website, that happens to be the exact dimensions that are required for the home page slider. Be sure to check with your theme to see what your particular spec is, but it is important to get that size right in order for the slider to function correctly. Now for this particular theme we're using, which is Thesis, we need to grab the file URL and we're going to triple click in that field to copy and paste the entire file name. Always be sure to do a triple click because if you do what we're, most of us are used to doing and that is start at the beginning and highlight to the end we see that a lot of it goes off the edge so it's very easy to not grab everything doing that method but if you triple click it'll automatically highlight the entire URL even the part that's not visible and we are going to take that and insert that URL into the appropriate field of our theme. Uh, like I said, this is the thesis theme and this is how it inserts a post image. Your theme may do it a little bit differently. And the final thing that we need to do is we need to check on featured as our category. And you can have more than one category. Uh, we can pick green homes for example and maybe Los Altos as another example. And the most important part is to have featured because by clicking on that category it automatically tells WordPress to take this post and put it in our featured slider on the home page. So let's go ahead and click publish so that we can see that result. And once we have published it, or we just need to click on this link to view the post and let's take a look at our post. And here we can see we have our image we have the text that we inserted and then in line right below that we have our entire property listing with the complete detail. Now this is the actual post itself but if we go to the home page of the site we will see that there we have our home inside of the feature box slider. Because it's the most recent post it'll be the first thing that people see on the site and here what used to be the first one on the site has now slipped to the number two place, number three, number four, and it goes back to the beginning. So the featured slider will always show the most current blog post and it's set to display a particular number as a maximum. In this case it's five. So right now we only have 
4, and it'll go right back to the beginning if there's less than 5. But if there's more than 5, if there's 6 or 7, it will stop at number 5. So this is a very good way to just keep updating content to the home page of your site and know that when you do that, old content will automatically fall off. So you're only featuring the freshest and most recent content on your homepage slider. You can also put regular blog posts into the feature slider as well. This is an example of a regular blog post. Again, you need to make sure that you have a image that's the proper format. And we're going to go ahead and click on this and take a look at this particular post. So this is just a standard blog post. So it doesn't necessarily need to be a property listing, but it can be anything that's done as a blog post, provided you give it the proper image and give it the category of featured.